What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about how to improve as a developer once you get hired. So I know guys for a lot of people probably on this journey a lot of you guys and even for me when I was going through my coding boot camp the end goal of learning development learning programming and doing all this spend all this time is so that we can get jobs that allow us to have impactful careers doing things that are different every single day they challenge our minds and also they pay us well right it's like one of the biggest reasons I think a lot of people get into software development is because they know that this industry pays pretty well which is obviously true but what happens when you get that job right and you finally got that salary that you were looking for you finally work for that company where you do different stuff every day you get all the cool perks that comes with tech you get all the you know um the challenges that you want you get to learn new things every day you get to become a better developer you get to build something cool pretty much everything you ever wanted good benefits right vacation time paid time off everything you finally have all that but now what do you do do you just do your job do you just do what's required of you at your job or i mean how do you improve at that point once you have obtained that that job that career everything that you want out of whatever you're trying to get out of programming once you obtain that how do you continue to improve at that point and that's something that i had to face once i got hired was that okay i can learn what i need to for this job however this even though it can make me better as a developer here is it going to make me a better developer for my next career opportunity for that next job that's going to give me a role increase a pay increase a benefits increase right and while that might sound selfish guys you have to understand that all of this is is strategy and it's all somewhat of a game and it's a game called life unfortunately but unless you see yourself at the company you work for or going to a company that you want to work for for the rest of your life then there's always going to be the what next factor and i think that when you get hired after you put all this time and effort and energy into doing code challenges and learning and 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 what maybe boot camp for some people after you spend all this time building projects and doing all this stuff learning all this stuff and you get hired the thing is you can easily get comfortable and complacent and not push yourself to learn new things and not improve as a developer and only be as good as your job needs you to be without pushing yourself but the problem with that is how are you going to be valuable to that next company that needs you to do something different than what your company is currently doing how are you going to be able to show them that you're adaptable that you can learn new things that you've been teaching and learning yourself on the side, even while you have a job? How are you gonna be able to convey your passion for programming to them if you've never done a lot of programming or side projects or hackathons or anything outside of your job? So this video, I really just wanted to touch on a few ways that I think that you can continue improving as a software developer once you get that job so that you're ready for that next opportunity, you're ready to level up and get that title increase, you're ready to get that pay increase, you're ready to get that benefit increase for whatever that next step is for you in your life or in your career. Building things, side projects is a huge one. Also, hackathons or just events where you can do pair programming. And I think that's really big because, again, it allows you to meet, network, and talk to like-minded people who you never know they could in a lot of situations, they could help lead to introductions, which lead to career, new career opportunities, new jobs, or you might meet a co-founder uh, at, a, at a meetup or a hackathon or something like that. You just have no idea until you put yourself in that situation. So that's another way to, to get better as a developer is being around other developers at hackathons or meetups where you can improve your communication skills and your technical development skills and also build your network as well. So that's another way to to continue to improve once you get hired is go to meetups go to events uh go to hackathons put yourself out there a third thing that i think is a really great way to kind of kill two birds at one stone while you're at work but also to continue to improve yourself while you're at work is to find processes at work that you absolutely hate and try to automate them right so pick something that is really repetitive 
that's really annoying at work, whether it's for yourself or for someone else, and just spend any free or downtime you get at work trying to build that automation tool. And I'm experimenting with this right now at work, and what I've found is that a lot of people actually respect the effort and they actually respect the fact that you're trying to do something that isn't being asked of you by the business. They respect that you're trying to learn, you're trying to push yourself, and you're also trying to make life better for not only yourself, but for other people at work. And that can just help build relationships and show people that you really, really care about what you do and just give you a, a good reputation and just give you a really great learning experience and a big incentive to learn while you're working, which means you're essentially getting paid to learn. So. Building automation tools, I think, is a great way if you don't have side project ideas or you don't know where to start or you don't know how you can start to get better or start to build tools or things to get your skills up. Just figure out processes that you really hate doing at work. It could be something as, you know, just replacing a spreadsheet or literally automating a certain part of a process that you have at work. Just whatever you can do, try to build the bare minimum thing you can to at least speed that up if not eliminate that process and that, that'll be a great way to get a lot of reps and it'll also be a great talking point for other jobs when you go interview to actually talk about how you identified a problem at work something that was extremely repetitive and a lot of people hated doing it and so for the sake of learning you actually built a tool at work to automate that and then you therefore helped out the business and you made an improvement without being asked to do it so it becomes a big value proposition it becomes a talking point it becomes a great conversation to bring up it becomes a, a passion driver it shows that you really really care about learning you really really care about innovating you really really care about um about solving problems